share with you a recent vision, revelation, if you will, that I feel is very uh, pressing upon God's heart for us as the body of Christ and that we yield and align to uh, in these days. And uh, recent actually is an understatement. It was from today in prayer. I went into this vision and it even had the exact day of today tied into it. Um, to where I knew the Lord was like, get it out today. I was coming to the studio this evening anyway to do some shoots, had some other ones in mind, and he even tied today's date in with this vision. In other words, uh, letting me know, get this out now. And uh, it, the gist of it had to do with, out of the fivefold offices, uh, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher, the evangelist, sorry, the prophet and the evangelist coming together like never before, him really wanting to couple together the offices of the prophet and the evangelist like never before in these last days. I really feel like it has to do with the end time harvest and the specific timing of rightness in regions that God's wanting to really capitalize upon, if you will. And I'm going to bring uh, some scriptural basis. I feel like this passage out of Acts 16 is perfect. It highlights what this looks like very well. Um, and because often if we're not careful, I mean, let's just be real, the evangelist and the function thereof versus the prophet, they're so different by dynamic and call, right? And so if we're not careful, often we will uh, just by default distance, distance ourselves and hang around like kind. We just, prophets get the prophetic more and they get prophets. They talk the same. They hear through parables. They hear God similarly. Evangelists, on the other hand, same thing. They hear similarly, hang around the same kind. They have the same passions. And, and so they begin to look at each other and they don't get each other too well. So just by default, we distance ourselves. When right now, specifically more than ever, God's wanting to bring together those strengths to go forth with greater, greater effectiveness and power. And um, so here's a great passage for that. And, um, you know, I think that will bring greater clarity of, of how, what this looks like. You know, what are you talking about, Brian? So Acts 16, verse 6, And they went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia. Uh, sorry, first I'll share not the whole vision, but the gist of it to get the point across. I could see I slipped into the vision and prayer. Uh, Prophetically, the five fingers, the thumb starts off with the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. So if you ever see that in dreams and visions, you have a good grid for what God's talking, you know, what context it's within. But I could see upon a man whose birthday is today, this is how I knew. God will get to me real specific this way to know regions and dates and such as this. This uh, vision from today just so happened to be for me to know to release it today and get this video out because it's pressing the time and season we're in as the body. Um, I won't go into who it was, but it tied into exactly today. So it was the prophet and the evangelist upon his temple. I could see clearly, which the temple is prophetic for the temple of God, the, the body of Christ, and these two offices within God wanting to bring together. And I could see this same picture of this vision flowing through, through pictures of a phone, which speaks of even the calling. And uh, God wanting to bring them together very tightly right now in this hour in the temple the body of Christ, and I have them flowing and functioning together. So Acts 16, 6, and they went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia. This is with Paul now, who carries the strong prophet revelatory realm, yet very, he was the fullness of all five, really, apostolic, strong, he's the one that wrote, everybody do the work of evangelists. I mean, uh, carried it strongly. The burden for souls, yet high, heightened with great precision in, in the prophetic and revelation. Uh, real quick, too, the evangelists tend to, uh, not all of them, but at large can have the mentality and that passion, and they're to be wired this way. It's a great, glorious thing from, from God. But to go into all the world, preach the gospel to the masses, don't let any soul pass by, you know, just go. 
preach the, the lost need to be saved, go, go, go. And the prophet more looks like this aspect of Jesus where he said, I do only what I see the Father doing, and I say only what I hear him saying. The prophetic gets a lot more honed in and specific where the evangelist can be at broad with souls, right? It needs to be. But what God's wanting to bring together in this hour is the honed in specific prophetic uh, unction of God together with the large net casting evangelist of reaping the harvest into the specific regions that are ripe now where God can really capitalize upon versus being spread thin where it's not. And this is a great example. Uh, Acts 16, verse 6, And they went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden, listen to this, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. You say, no way. There's lost people there, like preach the gospel, go into all the world, preach the gospel. That's biblical truth as well. But oftentimes, like you'll see in this one small passage, not even a whole chapter, like a few verses, there's, t there's three opportunities to preach the gospel. And two of them are canceled out by God. Two out of the three to get down to the specific region God was trying to hit. And this is what God's doing right now. Uh, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. So, and when they had come up to Mycia, now they went on to a new region. Uh, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them now. So first you have the Holy Spirit forbidding them. So they move on from that region, go to another one. The Spirit of Jesus now is resisting them from going into Mycia with the Word of God, with the Gospel. And, and first off, it takes pristine hearing in the prophetic to even know, much less that God's forbidding you to preach the Gospel to a people, a, a region needing the Gospel, number one. Number two, to even decipher between this was the Holy Spirit forbidding, now this is the Spirit of Jesus resisting. You can see just that clarity of breaking down God's voice, the prophetic coupled together with evangelistic. Uh, so, passing on by Mycia, now that Jesus even didn't allow them, they went down to Troas, and watch this, and a vision appeared to Paul in the night. Here's the prophet role, the prophetic role needed, coupled together with the evangelistic. A man of Macedonia was standing there, urging him, saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. This vision doesn't need much interpretation. And when Paul, uh, verse 10 now, when Paul had seen the vision, immediately it says, we sought to go into Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. So see, twice resisted by heaven, third by the prophetic, concluded immediately. We, they knew it is the will of God for us to preach the gospel to them. Not them or them, but them. And you say, no way. You know, often the evangelistic camps might, would, would pass over things like this, but here it is clear, clear as day in Scripture uh, where the prophetic gets more honed in but needed coupled together with evangelistic to reap the harvest and cast the net forth. So uh, I just want to encourage you guys, evangelists out there, hearing this, this broadcast and this recording, Find those prophetic voices because they're there. You know they are. God's been putting them all around you. And lean into them, draw and glean from them because they've got something that God's trying to hone in and bring specific that they need your calling to fulfill. So prophets as well, prophetic voices, find those evangelists in your life and, um, and hear clearly for them to where they can be more assessive and accurate in uh, in, in you know, more of God culminating in, in the will of God for, for the harvest in these last days and uh, <clears throat> more assertive, sorry, and just pointed and time, time oriented by heaven on the ripe harvest in these days is what I'm really trying to get across. But I hope that blesses you guys. It is urgent right now. It's on God's heart. Evangelists and prophets find each other. Let the walls come down. We're all different, but we need each other. And let's see this great harvest uh, worldwide come in for the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Bless you guys.